Sigurd Drenger. Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Uh, Pitchfork. Oh. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending fires. <laughs> now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Saxon Piggy, uh, uh, to run amok to the mercy in fields. <laughs> What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Berg. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shailwolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes, remove. I cannot stress that enough. 
Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. Lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of War. He does war. not need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. Fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Throwing a boy who stinks of fear to a pack of wolves is not the best way to train him. Are you sure that's what Chilwolf wants? Mm, he left it open for interpretation. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chelbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think.
What is Jailwolf's son doing in Revson at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son than the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Eva seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Urgred still has his soldiers all over Mercia. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornborough, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? Do you ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. I couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harold by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harold. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scald song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harold is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Tilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Tilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. <gasps> the prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my skull. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Pagan rats, ravenous, unseemly beasts, teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. 
A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog, you're all the same to me, all godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues! No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost! If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse! Man the walls! Back to the camp! Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Hey, who? <clears throat> Tell the captain we're ready to march. Ivar and I will round up the men. You know your way around a batsman map. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. No! How about a round of dice? Who are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong. I know these men, Abel. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you.
must destroy that barricade! It's over, Burgred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did... Hmm. Only call the payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. Clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. 
Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. You were one of Burgred's thanes. He must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret hoods, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason, I suppose. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. But keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. There is the matter of my fee. All right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. That's all I have for now. Find me later. Not going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Call me, but Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Uba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Eva from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tomna to hell. I'll hold you to that. 
From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tunner. What happened? He's a murderer. What brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. The embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? That's not why I'm here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my sp- <laughs> If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson plots. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. Here's your silver. Mm, right as a plum, aren't you? So eager. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas, Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know, not more, not less. We are done here. Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. Sigurd's told us the news. Well done. Ledechester and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Ledechester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkred could be at either one. We should check both. As soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burkred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Ledechester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. And your friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon.
Better than your tight lip man here. He'll never say anything again. We've told you everything. Aver, there you are. What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Berger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with. They must have separated after Tomworth. It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Adam's whip. Capture a queen to find a king. It might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aver will take care of fetching Adam's whip. Oh, then guide you. The Saxons won't welcome us through the front door. We could find a quiet way in, or we can take your longship. I'm beside you either way. Ah, oh, Aver. I have. Of scouring the Shire in search of a king. Of going a Viking good. With you. With our brothers and sisters. Conquering new lands. Forming lasting friendships. And if it takes chasing some weasel across a new land, so be it. I am right where I wish to be. As am I, brother. Guards here are vigilant.
soon as guide me. Need your eyes, my friend. area soon enough. The soldiers' barracks. Others with might be here.
three, scurry. Lady Athelswith, I see Burgred has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Eivor? Noble. Selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. Effective, Sigurd. She is only naive to her present danger, but she will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. She is a decoy. Come on! Come on quickly! The blade! They found me! Watch the handmaidens! I'll follow Athel's with. me. My husband will send you all to hell. Oh, Quite clever, your ladyship. You're certainly making us work for it. Keep your hands off me, pagan! Have you lost your sense of hospitality? I regret asking. After what you put me through, I would have to be mad. Do you understand what you're doing, Pagan? I am the Lady of Mercia. You're wasting your time. I won't talk. Not to you, not to any of you barbarians. You may reconsider, if only for your people. For who knows how many more might die at the hands of us barbarians. You don't frighten me. Then you are a fool. with you have seen better days god will sear your soul heathen if he can find it why the cat chamber she is as much a poet as you where's my kathleen what have you done with her your handmaiden you mean the brave one dressed in royal finery season change with the others i'll take them back to tamworth get them talking if she has so much as a scratch on her I will inform Cheerwald. He might have some ideas on how to get through to her. I will go to Letterchester. Eva may have had better luck. Sigurd, what about these prisoners? We've got what we need. 
Let them go. Thank you, thank you, friend. No peace here. need some time to collect more information. Not be seen in this area. <laughs> 